My soul is wrecked with anguish at the wickedness of my son. He has strayed far from thy teachings and now is driving, drawing others away from thy gospel. I do not know how to prevent this wickedness he is spreading. It pains my soul that my own son is promoting the cause of Satan. I need thy help in bringing him to the knowledge of the truth. The sons of Mosiah were numbered among the non-believers, also one of the sons of Alma the prophet. Alma the younger became a very wicked and an idolatrous man. He was a man of many words, and he did speak much flattery to the people. Therefore he led many people to do after the manner of his iniquities. He became a great hinderment to the prosperity of the church, stealing away the hearts of the people, causing much dissension among the people, giving a chance for the enemy of God to exercise power over them. By his own confession, he sought to destroy the church of God. People, people, I have lived with the prophet and I know him to be a man of strange delusions. I've been reared in his, in his house and I can tell you that he preaches of his own misunderstanding. There is no need for a savior when there is only this life. Live, drink, be merry, for there is no purpose in your old traditions and sacrifices. Rely on your own knowledge and forget the foolishness of our fathers. I just pray that those that thou may help him see the error of his ways and prevent him from destroying the testimony of others. May my son feel of thy power and glory and have a mighty change of heart that he may once again become a follower of Christ. The campaign in Gideon has been hugely successful. There are many willing to hear us. They seem sympathetic to the questions we posed and the answers we provided. Many people are beginning to question their faith in our religious traditions. They're beginning to see the need to free themselves from oppressive commandments and others like him. I think we're most effective with the young men and women. The older people are too fixed in their traditions, but the youth are more easily persuaded. Oh, Father, I know of thy pain and suffering caused by my ignoring thy teachings. I know the pain my son must suffer if he will not repent. I fear for his salvation of his soul and for the salvation of those he has led away. Yet I know that I believe in thy power to overcome all, for I know thou can do all things. Where we are going? Where we are go next? Let's go to the land of Minion, above the land of Zarahemla. There are many young men and women there. <laughs> they will certainly be open to new ideas. Let's go! Here, here. <laughs> Alma, why persecutest thou the church of God? For the Lord hath said, this is my church, and none shall overthrow it, save it is the transgression of my people. Behold, the Lord hath heard the prayer of his, prayers of his people, and the prayers of his servant, Alma, who is thy father, who hath prayed with much faith concerning thee, that thou mightest be brought to the knowledge of the truth. Therefore, and for this purpose, have I come, to convince thee of the power and authority of God, that the prayers of his servants might be answered according to their faith. And now, can ye dispute the power of God? Go, remember the captivity of thy fathers in the land of Helam, and in the land of Nephi, and remember what great things God hath done for them. I say unto thee, Alma, go thy way, and seek to destroy the church no more, that their prayers might be answered, and this even, if thou wilt of thyself, be cast off.
After the sons of Mosiah carried Alma to his father, he rejoiced, for he knew God had answered his prayers. Alma the elder and the priests began from that time forth to fast for, their, for his son. They prayed that the Lord would strengthen the limbs and open the mouth of Alma's stricken son. After two days and two nights, the, the limbs of Alma received strength. He stood up and began to speak unto the people. Be of good comfort. I have repented of my sins, and the Lord has forgiven me. Behold, I am born of the Spirit. And the Lord said unto me, Marvel not that all mankind, ye every nation, kindreds, tongues, and people, be born again, yea, born of God, that they may come from their carnal and fallen state and become righteous. And they will become new creatures. And unless they do this, they will be cast off. And I know this because I was like to be cast off. Nevertheless, after waiting through much tribulation, repenting nigh unto death, the Lord in his mercy hath seen fit to snatch me out of the everlasting burning, and I am born of God. Alma the Younger and the sons of Mosiah completely changed their ways. They went throughout all the land seeking to restore those who they had persuaded to leave the church of God. Everywhere they went, they admitted their sins and told how they had changed their lives. They explained the prophecies and the scriptures of God. Their testimonies were strong and the people began to believe them. They became instruments in the hands of God to bless the lives of the people in the land that they lived in.